Social media has become an integral part of our lives, connecting people from different corners of the world and facilitating the spread of information. However, its unregulated nature has raised concerns about privacy, misinformation, and online harassment. This has led to a heated debate regarding the need for social media regulation. Supporters argue that regulations are necessary to protect individuals' privacy, prevent the spread of harmful content, and maintain the integrity of democratic processes. On the other hand, opponents believe that regulation may infringe upon free speech, hinder innovation, and give governments and corporations too much control over and flow of information. One of the main arguments in favor of social media regulation is the protection of privacy. With the rise of social media platforms, personal information has become readily available to advertisers, data brokers, and even malicious actors. Proponents of regulation argue that strict measures should be implemented to ensure that users have control over their personal data and are aware of how it is by introducing regulations. Individuals can feel more secure in their online interactions and have greater trust in the platforms they use. Furthermore, the concern over the proliferation of misinformation and fake news on social media platforms has fueled the call for regulation. In recent years, social media has played a significant role in the spread of false information, which can have serious consequences for public opinion, elections, social cohesion. Advocates argue that regulation should be put in place to hold platforms accountable for the content they host and to ensure that algorithms prioritize accurate information. By curbing the spread of misinformation, social media can become a more reliable source of news and information. Opponents of social media regulation, however, claim that it poses a threat to free speech and expression. They argue that by imposing regulations on social media platforms, the government or corporate entities could suppress unpopular opinions, stifle dissent, and create a chilling effect on public discourse. These critics contend that social media should remain a space for open dialogue, and that individuals should be responsible for evaluating the credibility of the content they encounter. They fear that regulation could pave the way for censorship and limit the diversity of voices on these platforms. Another argument against social media regulation is the potential impact on innovation. Social media platforms have revolutionized the way we communicate, share information, and connect with others. Critics argue that excessive regulation could stifle innovation by imposing burdensome compliance requirements and hindering the development of new features and greater than. They believe that competition and market forces should be the primary drivers of improving social media platforms, rather than imposing top-down regulations, impede progress. Moreover, opponents of social media regulation express concerns about the concentration of power in the hands of governments and corporations. They argue that regulations might provide authorities with excessive control over the flow of information and enable corporate entities to manipulate public discourse. In a time when social media plays a crucial role in shaping public opinion and mobilizing communities, these concerns raise valid points about the potential misuse, average population expansion and a cities of self-regulation. This is where the timing ability to regulate the event's primary number of timing and training the signs without the most business work. One part of it 